Okay, the next thing is how to track your students' grades. And right now I have no students in this class, but there's a way that you can kind of fake that. And I'm going to show you how to view your course as if you were a student. So you can get an idea of what the students are actually going to see. So over on the right hand side of your screen, when you're on the home page, you'll see student view. I'm going to click on student view and you'll get a magenta colored line down at the bottom that helps remind you that you are currently in student view. Now in student view over on the right hand side, you can see that there's a to do list and it tells the students that they have an assignment that's due on June 26 called counselor presentation. So I'm going to look at this assignment. And it says review the slides, respond to the summary. And so this looks just like we saw it earlier. But I'm going to click over here where it says submit assignment. So now I can type in my questions or my summary, whatever my response is. And then I'm going to submit the assignment. Now, this student submitted it, so they will always see a submission receipt when they turn in assignments for their classes. It tells them the date and time that they turned in an online submission. Obviously, if they turn in something on paper in class, it will not have a submission receipt. But for any assignment that is completed online, they can always find that in the assignment. Now, I am going to leave student view. And I am going to go to the home page for our course. And you will see as a teacher now, or as the counselor in your course, you have a to-do list on your home page. And it says one, that's because one student has submitted this assignment. And this assignment is in your to-do list because it is ready for you to grade. So if you click right here, grade counselor presentation, it brings you into something called SpeedGrader. And SpeedGrader allows you to go from student to student to student. And I only have one student, but you will be able to see all your students. You could also sort by period, like look at all of your ninth graders, all of your 10th graders, etc. But I can see the response that my student gave. And if the student like had particular questions for me and I wanted to respond to them, I can put my response right here. I could also mark if they completed, incomplete, or if they were excused from this assignment. And then I press submit and I can go to the next student. I'm not going to grade anything right now because I do want to show you that there's another place where you can look. From SpeedGrader, I can go directly to the gradebook by clicking on this link right here. But you can also go to the gradebook where it says grades right over here. So I'm going to go to grades. And in the gradebook, I can see from my counselor presentation that this student has turned it in because there's this weird little like paper thing here. If the student didn't turn it in, it would just have a dash that looks like this, um, but it will be in the column for that particular assignment. And you would see all your students listed right here. So if I wanted to grade this assignment, if I click on the box, right, like I could just mark the grade, but I want to click on that little box on the right hand side and it will show me speed grader. And then I can go in and again, look at the student work, give them a grade, give them a comment and you could type comments. But what's nice is that maybe you want to do a video or audio comment for your student. If you click right here, this is allowing you to create a video comment and create a little video like what you created on your home page. Or if you click over here, this is speech recognition. So it will write type text based on what you say. So I'm going to click record. Good job, Johnny. Great job on this assignment. And then I can press done and it types it for me. So that's something that you could do as well. I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to say submit. And this student now has a grade. It's complete zero out of zero. And if I go back to the grade book, which I can get to over here on the left from SpeedGrader, I will see that my student has a green check mark. If that student didn't have it done or turned it in and it was like awful, I can make it an X. Or if it was never turned in, it would just be this 
little line like that. And so if you're looking down your list, you can see which students haven't turned in work or not. And one of my favorite features about Canvas is up at the top in the assignment name cell, there's these three dots. If I click on those three dots, I have the option to message students who. So if you click on that, you can message students who haven't submitted their assignment where it hasn't been graded, so they've done it, but you haven't graded it yet. So that might be like, hey, you guys, I'm still working on this. It's coming soon. Or if they scored less than so many points or more than so many points. But it's great because if you said haven't submitted yet, you can then type a message that will go to all of the students who haven't submitted like, hey, this is a reminder. You need to watch this college presentation. And they would all get a message within Canvas based on um, their submission of this particular assignment. 